Buckinghamshire Council, we've approached BNG in three different ways, from three different angles. The first angle is from a planning point of view, helping support our planning officers to deliver biodiversity net gain. And second thing we've done is we've looked strategically at what do we want for biodiversity in our county. And so we've used our priorities for biodiversity in Buckinghamshire to help us set up a habitat bank regulation service for the off-site market and help steer that so that that's in line with our priorities and provided some criteria for habitat um, bank owners, landowners, farmers, so they know what to expect and what we're going to be asking them for in order to get a habitat bank on the National Biodiversity Gain site register. And finally we've done a little bit of work on our own land holdings as well just to consider what we might be able to offer to the open market. So our biggest success um, has been to get two habitat banks on the Biodiversity Gain site register, the National Register. It's been really fabulous to do that. We're at one today, Lotmead Farm, and that's been a collaborative project with the farmer, Mr Eddie Rickson, um, the broker, who is uh, the Trust for Orchestra's Environment, and uh, the River Tain Conservation Trust, who are the delivery body, and Buckinghamshire Council. So it's been a really good example of collaborative working. And we've also got another site that we've um, been collaborating with the Berkshire, Buckinghamshire and Oxfordshire Wildlife Trust um, at uh, Luddishall Meadows which is not far down the road from here and that's been another really great project which is owned and managed by Bebout as part of their network of reserves. And what you can see here behind us is the first example. BNG is delivering landscape scale restoration in line with our emerging vision and our local niche recovery strategy. BNG is helping pay for this around about a kind of 30 hectare site delivering the right habitat in the right place in line with our wider vision. But to do that, we had to put some things in place. We've had to enable our off-site market to develop, and that's been a critical part of our preparations. So putting in place criteria for habitat bank providers to come up with, what's the service that we offer, our monitoring fees, and to make it easy, what are the templates we're going to use for legal agreements? And it's those things which have helped bring forward a site such as this. Biodiversity net gain has been really important to us in Buckinghamshire because, as you can see from this beautiful landscape, we have a fantastic county, big green open spaces, and biodiversity net gain requirements only enhance that. So the changes that we're going to see from BNG, I'm hoping are going to be more wonderful sites like this, but also a greater consideration when people are approaching development of really thinking, how am I going to come into this place if I want to build something and genuinely enhance the area and the environment? So it's been really beneficial to work with Buckinghamshire Council to go through what is a very new way of building natural capital on our farm and being able to monetize it. We made a conscious decision to build natural capital so the farm doesn't just survive for the next generation but thrives. 